This is the Estancia, the hunting ranch of Calcatri Safaris in Patagonia, once called the Land of Giants. This is the place Butch and Sundance took off for, and seeing the country can tell you why. Already On the right. Here I am. This is a brand new facility I'm in. It's very home style, but it's brand new and Javier Diaz is the uh, manager who operates this entire facility. I think the team is in, in good shape because we have hills here and uh, we have to walk a lot for a closer shot. So I think it's gonna be all right. Like me, the game I'm after is not native to South America. Both the fallow deer and the wild boar were originally found in the old world, but now run free in Patagonia in the new. Around the time of the Ice Age, fallow deer were found in North Africa, Asia Minor, and parts of the Middle East and the Balkans. Heavy hunting pressure reduced the fallow deer's range to Asia Minor, which is the present-day location of Turkey. Then conservationists at the time began transplanting the fallow deer to other locations in the Mediterranean region, and noble families also stocked their hunting estates with this graceful animal. Today, the fallow deer roams many European countries with populations scattered throughout New Zealand, Australia, Africa, and the United States and South America. It was summer just days ago, but now I've come to a place where fresh winter snow has fallen. Good morning, Javi. Good morning, Timmy. It's chilly today. It's chilly. Yeah. It's we'll chilly and we're in Argentina. Some snow. Beautiful, look at this. Yeah. It's June. For me, it's, it, I left, it was a 97 degrees back in Los Angeles. Yeah. Look at this, man. You can look up the, the hill over there. Yeah. With all those, we have some, there's a few here, but over there maybe it's about Two inches. Wow. Now, will that, will, that, will that snow up high push the deer down? Yeah. It will. It's a world of deer. We have to go they're just that waiting, way. They're just waiting for us. Yeah, just yeah. waiting for us. <laughs> All right. Let's go. I'll throw these in the back here. Javier's truck takes us only as far as the horses that'll carry us into the field. The first moment is by horse, but by then, we walk. We're going to be doing some spotting and stalking, and basically that means we'll be on horseback or classing uh, the valley bottoms, and uh, we'll park the horses somewhere and walk a bit where the horses can't go or might be too difficult for them to go. And then uh, we'll glass using our uh, optics, and we have Mitrix optics that we're using, and my scope as well. It's, it's, uh, it's a big job. We can go that way, and then go back, yeah, around on the left. Okay. This is the just a pampas grasses area. Wait, yeah. wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What, what do you see? I see horse, horse, horse. Where? Right there. Right there. Okay, I got him. I got him. Is that the fallow deer? Yeah, I see the shallow. The shallow, the fallow deer. I see him. What, what's the game plan? We go just through here, right there, and then class again. Okay. But very slow. Okay, I'll follow you. Go ahead. Where are you go. It's very spooky, they can run fast, so. Yeah, I can't, I can't, all I see is this horn in the grass. Yeah, wait, 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 wait till it comes out. Wait a minute. All right. Oh, there he goes, he's coming out now. I'm gonna take the safety off. You, you say when. Okay, all right, take him. Okay, hang on, hang on, I gotta get steady here, I'm not. My heart's beating here. Breathe. Good. Down? What? That oh, was he went good. right down, didn't yeah. he? Look at that. Oh, man. <laughs> man. Thank 
you. Well done. Still, God, it got me going. Hey, my heart's still going. It's a nice fun of deer. Jeez, look at this. I've never seen one. Yeah. First time, huh? This is this. Is this all palmated or? This yeah, is palmation. And this is this is part of their. Yeah. Natural. Was fighting. Uh -huh. Another one broken. Up broken. Here. This is broken up here from fighting up yeah, here. Yeah, was say? fighting with another one. Yeah. Wow, that gives us some character. Look at this guy. And you say he's about seven years old? Seven. Yeah. yeah. Seven. Eight. Wow. It's yeah. nice and nice, nice color. You see, it's a spotted, but it's very that clear, nice. very light, yeah. light spot. And the body is like a. It's the series. I thought he looked big, much bigger. Yeah. Bigger. Yeah. These are nice though. That is the coolest looking thing I've ever seen anything like that. That that the Tika T3 and using that 3 at 6 that that trophy body that tipped that uh, it works well. It worked very well. It worked very well. This is just amazing though. I've never seen one of these out here. It's my first time. First I'm time. glad you're here with me, <laughs> Mr. Majestic. <laughs> Thank you, Tim. Thanks, man. Thank you. Okay. As its main native range has shrunk, the fallow deer has more and more come to depend on places like Calcutri around the world to ensure its survival as a species. Argentina isn't just a great country for big game hunting, but one of vibrant color and culture. The sights can be quite lovely. Dancing, music, history, entertainment, all these blend together in what is perhaps South America's most cosmopolitan capital city, Buenos Aires. Before traveling to Calcatria, I got to see some of the sights of Buenos, including the resting place of one of its most famous residents. This is the tomb of Eva Perón. Maria Eva Duarte de Perón, or Evita, was born to an unwed mother in rural Argentina and came to Buenos Aires at 15. The young singer, dancer, and actress eventually caught the eye of Colonel Juan Perón, who married her and was elected president two years later in 1946. Most of us know her as Madonna in the movies, but you know she's a, very, a great Argentinian, and she did much for her people. I've come to Calcatri Safaris in the snow-covered Andean foothills in Argentina's Patagonia region on a hunt for fallow deer and wild boar. As we were walking up the mountains, it really became very apparent to me that you have to be in great shape that, to even come out here to attempt this. Whenever you go out hunting with guides, part of that experience is being able to, are you fit enough to stay up with your guide? And you know, the guide needs to work with the client as well, but I'll tell you what, you know, I, I, was, uh, I was staying right up with him, but you know what, I was, I was breathing a little bit hard. We've already put in a full morning's hunt, so it's back to the lodge for a hot lunch. What we tried to achieve here at Calcatra was to make a very exclusive place where hunters come in small groups and get a very dedicated and personal attention. Calcatra is a 26,000 acre property and it's surrounded by properties that haven't hunted and do no hunting at all. A hunter would come to Calcutta to harvest a good red stag, fallow deer, Russian boar, mouflon sheep, pure David deer, a wild goat. A hunter should come here to get a very decent and different experience of hunting in a totally different environment. Warm by our meal, Javier and I are back out into the cold and wind. What are these boars? These, what, do they, what do they eat out here that's, that's in the wild? They eat roots. Like roots? Yeah. They eat bugs too? They yeah, bugs, like worms. Yeah. yeah. Big one. It's coming. It's, it's coming. To the left. It's a huge, huge body. Is that big one? Just big, really big. This is twice. 
Javier. So just get ready because he this is gonna be very quick, very, very fast, and he goes, he's gonna just fly by us, I think. So as I get set up, this thing comes flying by, and all of a sudden, Javier goes, shoot, shoot now. Moving fast. Moving, moving. Got coming it, right. I got it. There you go. Well, he was right down. down. He's down. Man. He's down. Is he down? Yeah. Yep. Really down. Wow, what a big son of a gun, isn't it? Jeez. Oh, Let's go get him. Holy cow. It's really big. That is like a bear. The size of this son of a gun, I ain't looking at there's like no neck. Yeah. It's just a head. Look, and look how long that hair is. That is, that's amazing. Look at that. That'd hurt to get hooked by one of these babies, wouldn't it? Kind of hurt you really bad. And these, these do attack folks then, yeah. when they're hunting, right? Yeah. Man, look at the size of that son of a gun. This one is at least 260 pounds. Wow. It's a this big, is big body. Its shoulders are like, it's like armor plating. You see this thing, you, you feel it, and Javier was saying, feel the shoulders and how, how, how hard they are. And I go, my God, it was, it's like armor plating. So that, that Russian boar, that was, um, that was a heck of a, heck of an animal. Right, well, okay, still, still on, your, on your back there. Yeah. yeah. So, okay. Ah. <laughs> Look at the size of that son of a gun. Tim make a very nice hunting here at Calcatre. Well, the first day, had a fallow deer, nice spotted, spotted one. Nice, nice Russian boar with nice, nice tags. This was a, a heavy animal. And uh, then, uh, so he did very, very good. Javier is a, an outstanding guide. He's a wonderful host and also a great conversationalist, and he's also great, uh, has a great sense of humor. So for me, this is, uh, just that experience itself was, was worth the long journey down here. The great Argentine author, Jorge Luis Borges, said that writing is nothing more than a guided dream. In a way, I feel that I've been guided by Javier on a dream of a hunt in Patagonia.